with a professional record of three wins and a draw. Weighing in at 69.9 kilograms, standing at 1.74 meters, it is Stephen, the liquid metal Nizikwo! My name is Stephen Ezeoku, so I'm from Nigeria, from the Igbo tribe. Uh, I'm a professional uh, MMA fighter. Um, right now, I, am a, uh, I work as a computer engineer. So, and also I, I'm into IT and also a, a professional trainer. I train people uh, for, to be physically fit. So uh, that's what I've been doing at the moment and uh, it's helping me out and uh, the trainings I've been going through, uh, everything is working out fine. So it's really nice uh, uh, what I've been doing and uh, I'm happy for my growth on how I started to this point. Uh, my career started uh, two years ago. Uh, when I first located, uh, relocated from Nigeria. So uh, during the coronavirus uh, time, so uh, everywhere was on lockdown. So I always uh, watch uh, UFC fights uh, when I'm bored. And I, uh, there are two of my uh, countrymen that are into UFC and their champions are uh, Kamaru Usman and uh, Israel Adesanya. So watching their fight and uh, seeing how far they've gone in their, in their career and uh, knowing about their story. And also uh, Francis Ngannou from uh, Cameroon, his journey from Africa to the Europe, uh, Europe countries. I decided that yes, I can do this. I can give it a shot. After the lockdown has been lifted, I, I contacted one of my friends from the gym. So he introduced me to my first coach, which uh, I am still with now, Captain Shedi. So we started out as a kick, as boxing, then um, uh, I later added it into kickboxing. So we started training kickboxing. Then after like uh, five months, uh, he told me, Steven, uh, I think uh, you should go for competition. I think you are good. I said, I've just been training for five months or six months thereabout. He said, yes, uh, he sees my potentials. Uh, I can do this. Then after that, um, well, I had my first uh, competition, which is tournament kind of, uh, after knocking down my opponent, then I said, okay, since I have this passion of becoming an MMA fighter, uh, let us uh, integrate this and uh, let me train for MMA as an MMA fighter. Then Shady introduced me to one of his friends too, Captain Adel. Thereabout, uh, I started training MMA for a few months. Then uh, I was advised to try out a uh, MMA tournament that I think I uh, will do better. Then that's how the, the journey started. Hi everyone, my name is Romy Kandil. I'm a strength and conditioning coach specialized in working with combat athletes. So first off, we're here in uh, Revolt Fitness. We uh, focus mainly on functional training for general population. We focus on performance training for all types of athletes from all types of sports. I have as well partner in crime, strength and conditioning coach, and uh, BJJ phenomenon uh, fighter in Egypt, uh, Mustafa Shell. We're both uh, working with uh, Steven. First time uh, we saw Steven, I was in, I went to an AUFC event and that's where I saw him for the first time. Uh, I was impressed by his fight. The guy has a lot of potential, a lot of power. Looking forward to working him from now on. Uh, after that, I saw him in the first Odia event, Odia 1. Uh, a phenomenal event, honestly. First time that I see such a big event done like this in Egypt. Uh, very professional, very well organized. They are taking care of the athletes a way that no other organization has taken care of them uh, till up to now. Um, after that fight, going into Odia 2, where Steven was fighting CC, he came to us around five days before the event where we started working together, working on certain points that we felt he needed help with. Uh, from there, he went into his fight with CC. It was a pretty good fight, honestly. He did a lot of good things during that fight, especially fighting a very experienced fighter like uh, CC. Uh, and I see Mustafa Shell, and, uh, one of the founders for MMA department, Hena Perivot, uh, strength and conditioning coach, co founder of TWC, a Jiu Jitsu athlete. I'm from a long, long, long time. Yeah. I'm excited for the Yanni Fan and if you want to go to professional.
Steven is a very hard worker. He's very, very dedicated to what he's doing. He does have passion for what he's doing and he sees himself going to a much higher place on international standard. We definitely do believe in him based off of his work ethic. He's been coming in almost every day, putting in the work, working hard, sore or not, tired or not, he still comes in and does the work. So I do see a lot of potential in him. I see him growing and I see him being an amazing fighter in the future. So get ready for it. So when I go to the gym uh, after having my, my light breakfast, so I try to talk to my, co uh, my team, okay, what can we be working on today? Uh, maybe strength and conditioning, or maybe, okay, today let's go into grappling. So uh, I, sometimes I train twice a day. I train in the morning and in the evening. And some days I switch it up. I train only in the morning and in the, in the evening. I train others. You understand? I try to, to mix it up. And when I'm not doing both of this in the evening, I go out and I meet with my friends, maybe have some, play some games or have some bites uh, at the cafe or something. Uh, Steven, come on, uh, Yanni through the, one of the, my brothers, Yanni coach Shady, uh, come on. Uh, you know, I'm Usually, in MMA is a mixed martial arts. It's all things. You have to be perfect and good in most of the things. But we're working on the weaknesses, Jack Lime. Uh, we evaluate. لما شوفنا الماتش قبل ما يجينا الماتش اللي فات دوت شوفنا في حاجات already كنا قلناها له هتحصل. We developing the things right now in a proper way. شايفين في potential رائع which is good. Consistency is the key. لأن يعني محتاجين نشتغل كده. ممكن يبقى rising star for Abia. And I like the idea that he's not an Egyptian guy. يبقى في competition مع الناس المصريين برضو. ودي تبقى حاجة حلوة من المنظمة اللي هي عندها international fighters from all over the world. Yeah. Even started working with us here in Revolt, uh, one of the big things that we really focus on is giving the fighters what they need. What used to happen around in Egypt before was random programs, no proper programming, no proper thinking of what the athlete needs in regards to their own physical immobilities or their own issues. We use a very systematic plan. We program everything properly. We try to take care of the fighters in the way that they need them, focusing on everything in regards to their own physical health, their mental, their psych, everything that you can think about a fighter deals with. I'm kind of a straightforward person and uh, I'm, I would like to say I'm a one-way traffic person. <laughs> when I woke up in the morning, I woke up around uh, 7 to 8 a.m. You understand? That's the time I wake up. And when I wake up, I try to freshen up and uh, have a, a, a light breakfast. Uh, most especially I, I take in the morning for my breakfast, either cereal or vegetable or fruits, depending on my mood uh, when I wake up. So, but mostly I take fruits in the morning. So after fruits, and then uh, I head down to gym. If it's uh, the kind of training I'm going to go into, if it's uh, strength and conditioning, if it's uh, maybe kickboxing or grappling, depending on the program of the day or the plan of the day, I go with it. I try to eat more fruit and vegetables and proteins. I eat more proteins, but mostly I eat, I, I stay on my diet. I don't want to add too much weight. I don't want to cut too much weight. A few African foods I like, but uh, mostly we call it apple. Kind of uh, more of a, a carbohydrate uh, meal. But I love it because uh, it energizes me. And as Steven, the liquid metal is equal! الماتش الأولاني الحمد لله ستيفن كسبه الماتش كان الصراحة كان سهل جدا ستيفن كان مصمم ان هو يخلص الماتش جرابلينج الماتش المفروض كان يخلص من اول راوند طول هو طول الماتش مننا الصراحة عشان خاطر ان هو كان عاوز يفنش جرابلينج So it was my last fight in Kadia 002 which I, I had my first lose uh, after the whole round, round three. I love it because I was the one that called him out. Not the best position for Steven. Uh, which is CC, yeah. uh, CC. I called him out, uh, let's do this. The press conference, but it's still not over. Very dangerous position for Steven. 
I know that uh, his, uh, his level is higher than me. Someone that, from his story, he has been into this uh, game for over 14, 15 years. And me coming in from, the, from just less than two years, uh, competing, going against him, I know that it's going to be a tough fight, but I give it all my best. Well, I, uh, so far, Chef and Adia, they are doing a really good card in Machot. قريبة فيها تشالنج ظريف مش uh, usually كان بيحصل حاجات ان الناس بتبني ريكوردز بيزد على عدم تكافؤ اتس لايك مونوبولي جيمز لايك جامبلينج ثينج لايك اه يلا خليه يكسب uh, نعمل له ريكوردز لا قضيه اتس في جزء من الانترتينمنت الناس من اكسايتمنت اللي هي عايزه تتفرج على الماتشات لازم تبقى مبينه مستويات تبقى قريبه وده حاجه محترمه جدا يعني ودي حاجه اي ريسبكت يعني كان في ماتشات تانية لناس زي سالم ذا برازيليان جاي وكل الفايترز كلهم الصراحه كانوا جمال جدا حتى ماتش السي سي مع ستيم كان ماتش جميل جدا بنشوف uh, حتى احنا محتاجين الليفلز تعلى ازاي بشكل كبير جدا وده حلاوه الكاردز وده الانترتينمنت على الامام So Steven recently uh, signed with Odia to be one of his, uh, to be the sponsored fighter by them. Uh, this is a huge step for him, honestly, with a big organization like Odia coming up these days. It's very, very important. Uh, we love the fact that Odia right now is taking on these fighters. They're sponsoring them. They're helping them out with everything that they can. Actually paying the fighters for their fights, unlike other organizations where that wasn't happening. Uh, they really try to take care of their fighters, putting in the work and putting them out there in the world on an international platform where they can actually meet other fighters from all, the, all over the world and be put in a high standard that these fighters deserve to be in. Think that they're taking care of the athletes and fighters in a proper way, um, accommodation, fighting, sponsorship, uh, records, everything in a nice way. That will add value to them. So the athletes or the organization themselves. And all the respect, of course, fighters, all the good ones, they are very good. So we are talking about the guy himself, Stephen. Uh, he will be very good, inshallah, in the next few weeks.